my hair is doing like this weird thing here and I can't I can't seem to get it to calm down hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel <laughs> my name is Judith for those of you that don't know me and I am cleaning out my closet so today's vlog is going to be a little bit about um, my journey to minimalism, why I clean out my closet almost all the time and why you always see me donating and giving things out on Instagram and just kind of like why I do that. So yeah, let's jump in. I'm kind of doing this right now and this is already the donation pile again. This is my bathing suit from Nasty Gal. I'm obsessed with this little leopard bathing suit. I'm pretty sure they still have it because it's been like two years or a year. But every time somebody asks me for this bathing suit on Instagram, I'm still able to link them. So these are so cute. It looks so, so cute. And it's like cheeky. So I go through my things every three months to kind of see where I'm at and what I have and what i'm using and what i'm not using what should be donated what i still want but totally forgot i had which used to be a way bigger problem that these are like my obsession my bluestone leggings from tropicom i love them and i've been chilling watching the ocean with you baby up with a slow motion crew and we up in the clouds when people change but not we just chillin', kicking it, kiss by the sun. Could be soaked to the skin in the mall soon. I know she got the good vibes when seasons change, but we're the same. Even if I lost all my money, the zero runs deep, honey. And not only to speak, cause I've always been somebody, like, I've never gotten attached to objects before. Or um, or just things in general. I don't really get attached to things. So, but ever since we moved into this apartment, I've kind of like when it comes to my when it comes to my clothes. Every time I would purchase something new, I would have to get rid of something else in my closet because I didn't want it accumulating. This the minimalism thing all started because I was last year. I found myself um, always giving stuff away, always donating things. As soon as I um, I brought home like a, another top or like another sweater, I would have to donate something that I had just so I could fit it into my closet because I didn't want it accumulating. Um, I just wanted to keep kind of like what I had to a minimum this whole section this whole section was mine and this whole section was mine and this is everything i've given away i've donated or i sold now it's just alfredo side and this is literally all my clothes this little section right here that's all my clothes and pants and shorts it was just like it just brought me so much peace right like not having so many things in my life when as you evolve as a person as you as you grow i feel like there are certain things that you should let go of I've, like made room for like the new era in my life so if you follow me on instagram you're aware of my instas um my insta what did i call it my closet my closet sale i had like a huge sale on instagram and i was able to let go like almost like 80 percent of my closet there were things that brands had sent me that i didn't want anymore or that i think i outgrew some of it had tags so i was like buying things just to buy because i could and they were cute when you live minimal it's like you just have the things that you need um or the things that make you happy and you let go of everything else that doesn't make you happy to me i think i think minimalism is very very um different for everybody but for me is i only want to have what i need and love and something and things that bring me joy so then anything that doesn't bring me joy i just throw it away i donate it um i pass it down like that's pretty much it that's what i do and also i just notice like the less things that i have the happier i am and the less stress i am like also i came across this very cool podcast it's called the minimalist it's these two guys i forget their names um it's such a good podcast when i started listening to the minimalist podcast i realized that what i was doing was living trying to live a minimal life and then i'm like oh so that's what i'm doing like what i'm doing has a name you know like the constantly 
giving away the constantly um just not wanting to expand what i own so like i didn't know that had a name so obviously i thought minimalism those people that like only wore black and white and <laughs> like that um they had nothing in their homes and stuff like that so i thought that's what minimalist was and i thought it was really cool but it wasn't for me but in a way i was doing it and i was doing it um differently because I 100% agree that minimalism looks different for everybody. What I need might not be what somebody else needs to live a happy life and what somebody else needs, vice versa. But for me, it's just owning things that I love in the moment. That's kind of like my minimalism journey. Um, I do, I, I would like maybe do like a more thorough video where I show you my home. Also what I learned, what I found myself doing when I got rid of like all the clothes that wasn't like kind of like neutral, that weren't basics. Or, I would always say, man, I have nothing to wear. And then when I got rid of all that other extra clothes and I saw what I had in my closet, I've been making a lot more combinations with those little items that I would ever have thought of or that I ever thought I had. Like, so now I feel like I have more options. Like, it's the weirdest thing like but i was listening about it in the podcast and they say that does happen because when you own too much you feel like you don't have anything and it's just like when you own too much it just like overcrowds you and it like kind of stresses you but then when you own little you're able to make more like more use of it you're able to make more combinations and that's exactly what i found myself doing like i'm so much less stressed like i'm not even stressed anymore when it comes to um when it comes to getting dressed it's insane you're like it's just like endless combinations but they're simple items and basics that um that are always in your closet but you can wear them how many ever times and how many ever different styles so like when all of this happened that's why i kind of introduced that whole train of thought into tropicom and that's why i wanted to add a lot of basic staples to tropicom because i found myself doing that in my own life and with my wardrobe and i feel like if i could help people kind of like buy staples maybe they won't be as stressed when it comes to getting dressed um for their day or for an event because the staples that are in tropicom are kind of like you're up like you can dress them down and up and some of the staples like this is a staple from tropicom i wear them right now with like my kind of like oh these are alfredo's pants by the way i i ha i saw everybody on insta wearing them and i'm like oh my god those are so comfy and then i opened alfredo's drawer and i was like babe you have one of these so they have become they have become mine like they're just they're not alfredo's anymore so like this top is from Tropicom and I love it because I wear it with my black jeans, I wear them with my blue jeans, I wear them around I wear it around the house to chill and it's just such a nice comfy. I love the nude the nude color. So it's like it's like one of my favorite staples from Tropicom. I just love biker shorts. I feel like they could be an everyday staple. You can wear them up and up or down. Like I love biker shorts. So then I'm carrying them in Tropicom and these are the best kind of like nude beige color i love this color i have them in beige and white and in black Alrighty, so this is the situation i was able to organize organize a bit more these are the shoes that i'm donating we got some steve madden's sarah heels um steve madden again and these slippers from urban outfitters that i bought but they're so uncomfortable like i just want to give them away i guess i'll just have you with me this time just in a very uncomfortable spot hopefully i don't give myself a double chin um oof. this bikini does not end it's so long am i the only one that thinks like this like maybe let me not donate it because if it's bigger maybe when i get pregnant i'll use it <laughs> like i think like that all the time i'm like no i'm not gonna donate it because maybe when i have a bump it's gonna fit me better that's why i haven't gotten rid of, rid of some skirts because i swear i'm gonna be pregnant tomorrow <laughs> i'm just kidding no. good thing the sun didn't go down before 
this video because there's no light in my house like when it goes dark outside like that's it i have i can't do anything else so thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this little um cleanup minimalism kind of intro vlog kind of just like be with me while i will i um throw like while i donate things um if you haven't already please subscribe and like this video if you really enjoyed it um i think that's it right yes i'll see you in the next video bye